I wanted to finally show you the photo of Jane's bedroom, of how it looked before. So she had uh, she had her bed that she shared with her ex-husband that she uh, changed now to a new one with more supportive headboard. So she had uh, the kind of art she had and um, the sort of atmosphere that she created. It's very beautiful, but there is some element of sadness to it, some element of... Um, it's nice and spiritual, but it's but it's sad. So shifted it to uh, a little bit more joy, a little bit more energy. So we strengthened her energy with her helpful elements, which are depicted in uh, in the photographs here. So we have some uh, plant there as well. She needs wood energy. So and it brings vitality to the room. So we also created a feeling of. Uh, love and warmth and uh, uh, new relationships. So the feng shui part is done. So there is, of course, another part of it, which is uh, your mind conditioning, which uh, Jane uh, said that she is getting a lot of clarity on, on what kind of relationships she actually wants. And uh, I wish her a lot of luck, and I wish a lot of luck to all of you. And uh, because, uh, because this is what we all deserve, to have a beautiful, supportive relationship. And I want to thank Jane for uh, letting us to use uh, her house and especially her bedroom and uh, sharing with us her experiences that you could learn how to create a more supportive place and bring more love into your life.